three, best score ever. What was the best part of your game that day? Um, I just got okay, good. So you're like if you're aligning yourself toward like the green or the blue, like your alignment and where you're standing to hit the ball is great. Yeah. But if the ball doesn't fly in that direction, it's much more swing related than aim related. Yeah. Okay. I mean, how many times have you played with someone who gets up to the shot and they hit it and it goes like a hundred miles right and then they go like this and they're like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's not the stance. Yeah. when we get some squirrely shots as you take the club back the club head gets a little bit too inside and that's kind of like your glove hand your your left arm yeah. kind of rolling the shaft back behind you okay. yeah. so I want to work on some takeaway stuff today okay. which kind of leads you to a spot at the top I mean it looks pretty good from here but the ones where you hit a little heavy your maximum seem to have gotten short okay. and I think it feels it gets short mostly because the club head travels so far relative to the hands right hands went back a foot club head went back like six feet so by the time we get back here it's like wow i've gone really far but actually we could go farther um, the farther you can bring your hands in your back swing the farther you can move the grip the harder you can hit it and the farther you can hit it so we want to really talk about that today your downswing sequence stuff is pretty good like you know like just clearly head stays pretty still yeah. you deliver the club pretty good but i would say that through the shot we're not standing up hard enough and I want to feel like you can straighten your legs, especially the left one. Okay. okay, so the left one is where we get a lot of our energy from. We get a bunch of speed from there. Yeah. You know, uh, guys on tour talk, or the, the announcers on tour talk about, like, oh, look how he fired his hips through the ball. Right. It's not the hips that do it. It's when the left leg straightens, it fires the left part of the pelvis back and around. Right. So it's not necessarily like a hip firing as it is the knees doing something that fire, and we have a chain reaction from there. So here is one of the swings from face on where I feel as though that we can get your glove higher. Yeah. Like we could lift that up a little more. So I want you to feel like you're making a bigger backswing today for sure. Okay. And then through the shot, we're going to work on standing up a little bit. I mean, if you hit it heavy, it kind of makes sense to stand up. But we can kind of see through the shot through here, your glove and your hands are really close to you. Yeah. We don't get a full extension through the shot. Right. So I've got three pieces that I want to work with today. Um, that I want to kind of tackle with you, and they're all very much related, but I want to kind of put them in sequence and in order for you. Okay. First thing had to do with the takeaway, and I want to start with that first. We'll get into the other stuff as we progress for today. Um, I wanted to feel as though that as you're taking the club back, that it's not so much you're taking it back with your arm and your hand this way. I wanted to feel as though that you're turning your body a little bit more like this. So you can see from your view right here, if I use my body, like my legs and my stomach and my chest and my back, when I use all that stuff to turn my arms and my hands, yeah. the club head ends up being right here where my hands are. Yeah. It's not behind. Yeah. You know, there's lots of stuff that I've seen on the internet that just makes, they say, okay, if you're going this way, then you need to feel that way. Well, 
both of those I would say is wrong because it's too much hand manipulation too early where I can literally hold on to this club like nothing, right? And as long as I turn my body and start with my pivot, that club's gonna be in the same spot that it started. And when you go this way, you're putting in a bit of a, like a teeter totter right? It's rotating around this too hard. You would need to be Popeye. You need to be Popeye to smash that thing back that way. So there's the heavy shot and there's the one that goes to the right. I bet with a driver every now and then you hook it. Okay. So first things first is I want you to feel like you can set up right here and turn your body the most you can without putting anything into this grip. They used to call it a one piece takeaway. All right. So we're going to go that one piece takeaway from here. And once you've turned your body, that's going to give you the ability to crank that up higher. Okay. So those two are very much related. Um, the next piece about trying to go through the shot is that we want to feel like we're standing up through the ball that I'm really straightening my legs through the shot. And the more that I can straighten my legs through the shot, it's going to catapult my arms forward. So there's my finish. And that was yours. This is really close to you. Totally. Okay. There's there's a few a few good things on there. Um, so if we think about like you know we could have like a little exercise where we have four balls. Okay. The first ball is trying to feel like you can get the pivot to move the club in your arms and then raise this high. So one swing would be pivot, lift up, and hit it. Okay. The next time around, I want you to feel as though that you're trying to really stand up through the shot and almost point your arms and club out at the target. Oh, Norman did that. He wasn't bad. So, you know, the, the finished position idea today is that you're going to be tall. Whoops. You're going to be tall. And if you did it at the right time, that's what's going to take the club and put it into the ground. But I don't want to feel like I put the club into the ground and then lift it back up again. Like if we chop wood, it goes down. It doesn't come back up. And that the action of the arms is a lot of wood chopping. Like if I were to go back like this and do nothing with my body, but just do the proper action with my arms and hands, that's what's supposed to happen. But as soon as I start like turning and using my pivot, it ends up bringing the ball club back there. All right, so here, up, tall, forward. So extend the legs, extend the arms. Okay, that's where we're gonna start. So, show me how we do the first piece. Good, one more time. Take it back. Okay, really good, now turn this more. There, keep turning, keep turning. It's like your love handle wants to turn back. Awesome. And the, we'll talk about the timing of things, but I want it to almost feel like your knee is really straightening at the same time that the club hits the ball. And my guess is that if you do these three things, this one's going to show up. The arm extension is going to show up. far has a little bit of foot action there his feet are all over the place he's in the air <laughs> practice swings 
really high to get the feeling of what this new high position is going to feel like. Okay, and then swing through feeling like the legs are long and the arms are long. Yeah, and I want you to try to feel as though that you're going to finish here. And don't let it go further. Hold it right here. Yeah, arms straight, out in front of you, under your chin. actually decelerate down at the ball. They don't accelerate. The more you decelerate the arms, the more the club head has a chance to kick out and release. And so trying to feel like through the ball that the arms are slowing down gives you a chance to stop here. logo, right? You look like the PJ Tour logo. That's your idea. Big turn. Extend the legs, extend the arms. Good. There you go. one throw the divot 30 yards
So we'll talk about a little bit of that as it's coming through. Um, when you get shots like that happening, you're pulling the grip of the club too far past the ball. So this is kind of where the flip of the swing gets a bad rap. All right, so when you're going from here and you're cranking the wrist up from there, if you pull it on the handle, that's where that's happening. And it feels like you can hit it straight or you can be pulling it more. So now it's just going to pull fade. So stand right here in front of me. If we get that part good, which helps you take this, this wrist and take it higher, I want it to feel like the ball, that it's more like that. That the arms slow down and we add that piece to it. Right? And all, that's not, like, it's not necessarily, you know, what Golf Digest is going to call a flip. It's that we have to find a way to get the bottom of the club lined up with the top of the club better instead of always pulling this through. So that's when it's going to be like, once you're here, get like get up against that finish position here and, and let it go. So arms will finish low, club head will keep going. Okay. all the stuff but exaggerate the finish. Different flight, right? We got a different ball flight on that one. like this I want you to feel like you can turn all the way to the finish but don't let your arms get here right your arms might feel like they stop back there and let the club head win the race past this line not your hands weird feeling right better result <laughs> 